all right welcome to a new video game play uh, we're going to have a look at Tompy Jones this time it's a very interesting game created by dreams of games everything in this game is really customized it's not like all the games we have seen lately this seems really like an indie game and uh, here is the story of Tompy Jones Tompy Jones is this red Pac Man or something like that, and uh, it reminds me of other games, maybe it's just a combination. But the story is really interesting like, Tommy Jones had to fight against evil, and we're going to save Tommy Jones. This is actually the book <laughs> of Tommy Jones. <laughs> the animations here are really funny, really interesting, uh, and uh, the idea of being everything customized really seems to be its best. So, uh, actually, I thought that the game was something like you're going to select the levels and start, but the interesting fact here is that you have a table in a room and you can move Tompy Jones around to select the levels. So as you can see at the table there is this wonderful word there uh, and we're going to move Tompy Jones around and select the levels. So as you can see I think the castle with the dragons at the right is going to be the final level. I think, I don't know. And also there are different worlds so it's not just this map. Let's press the key. So this is the user interface basically, uh, you can select, for example, let's select this status, uh, this is me, player level, here it shows the level, how many hidden job objects I've chosen, extra lives, uh, and the shop, here is the shop, the one interesting thing is that you can basically gather coins during the levels and uh, you can buy extra lives, the propeller, jumping pack, sword, shield. When you buy for example the sword, the sword I think it gets stronger, something like that. And the weapons you can buy and upgrade the weapons. So right now I don't have any money. <laughs> uh, there are also some special abilities of Tommy Jones. So let's have a look at the world the ranking. Here are... Oh! I'm the third? Okay. <laughs> anyway, stay in this. We're in the ranking shop. So let's play the game and have a look at the different. Uh, unfortunately, for example, here I've not found all the hidden objects. There are four in this level. So if we click, for example, next world, it sends me to another place castle. So basically, this is the final level. The final world with final levels. Previous level. Okay, I think I'm on. Uh huh. Okay. This is, up, this is blocked. So it's going to be this one. Okay. So let's play this game. It's loading. Uh, one fact is that you cannot basically choose all kinds of. Uh, Resolutions, video resolutions for your video gameplay. Okay, so here is Tommy Jones. Here are some interesting things I will show you. For example, here you can basically jump and press the down button. You can use the propeller. No, oh, okay, I'm safe. So I will try to have a look around. Let's have a look at the different things. Tommy Jones also can grab. And grab uh, like this. Tuck. This is why he has such big hands, I think. Okay, so let's fly up here. What the hell? Okay, I just defeated that guy.
I don't know if I have to go up here. Maybe I should. Or maybe not. Okay, I got this thing. Uh, when you actually lose all your life, you have to uh, restart all over again. Or you can continue and select another world or something like that. Let's fly again. And let's fall down. Okay, I just got this yellow drink potion. I will try to actually move to the right here because it seems like this is a bonus area. Yeah, it seems like this is a bonus area. Okay, finally I got a hidden object. And I was able to survive against the enemy. So let's move on in this part of the game. No, okay. Okay, so I got myself up here. And let's hit this enemy. Okay, defeat it. Don't know who sends those. Oh, okay, it was that thing there. Uh, and by the way, you can have a shield to move around with the shield and save yourself from the enemies. But unfortunately, the shield is not so powerful. I don't know why, but uh, you cannot move so fast with the shield. So you have to press space and move very very slowly with the shield. So let's hope... Okay, nothing happened. Let's take the swords. Oh damn. Okay, I got defeated. <laughs> okay, that was some kind of bug maybe. Because when you hit, for example, something you shouldn't get your life down like that no damn I lost another life so it's not that easy and this is the interesting fact about this game like it's not an easy game and uh, it's not that you're going to get stuck in the game it also reminds me somehow of Prince of Persia and of Crash Bandicoot because uh, the environments remind me so much about that game. Damn, I got killed myself because of that spike there again. Okay, let's try to just complete the level. And I will try my best to collect all the hidden objects of the game. Okay, I think that was some kind of bug. Let's move on to the game. Okay, just got the enemy defeated. Oh shit, damn. Whoa, so I got back here again. And uh, I will try my best not to die so much, but it's a difficult game. And uh, not so easy, like the developers knew, for example, where you're going to jump. Uh, finally. I saved myself. Let's get some points. Coins, actually. <laughs> the funny thing is that you can basically collect a lot of coins and buy stuff. So, 
let's move on and uh, I hope there is a checkpoint somewhere here around okay I got my health replenished I need that coin okay so I just got that coin finally <laughs> Okay, there might be some hidden objects. Damn. Let's kill him from here. Let's have a look what... Okay, there... There is a checkpoint. Finally. <laughs> Finally, just got the checkpoint. You know, if I die like eight times now, it's game over. So I will have to buy new life, and uh, that's the biggest problem because I didn't buy life. Why did that? Why did that thing? hit me, I don't know. Okay, as you can see the environment is really interesting. Also the lightning. Let's jump again because I have to collect those things. And it's just two coins now, so if I don't grab them this time, it's not a problem. Oh, okay. Fun. Okay, so let's move on now and have a look at the environment around. If there is anything to get. No. Damn. Anyway, I was going to lose the life because no, because I didn't have so much life that actually cut my health to half, half to my health. So I will have to be more cautious the next time. Oh, <laughs> I killed that guy. I don't know how the hell did I kill him anyway. Also those knives remind me somehow of medieval one because me, uh, that guy, I don't remember the name. Dan Fortescue, yeah. That guy actually hits with knives. Okay, I know I'm going to... Wait a second, there was a red key, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, fortunately I remember the key, so let's jump up here, jump up here, okay, this is another buggish thing, no, okay, fortunately there is there was a checkpoint there, I didn't remember it, basically, so... For example, uh, this game actually does have some problems that might come out without any... That, like this, like two times, for example. This is not a problem, but it might seem somehow buggy, maybe. And yeah, you get like two, I don't need two. And uh, the player remembers if there are two, so maybe in the tutorial, but during the le third level... Oh, shit, this guy... That guy was more powerful than other normal enemies. Okay, don't tell me that... 
What the hell is here? Whoa, this is a very <laughs> interesting <laughs> place. The environment, as you can see, is really beautiful. The lightning, the weapons you find, the hidden objects, and other stuff which might come up during the game. Like, there are also very difficult areas, and there are very easy areas. Like, you can complete the level very fast, and there are levels which cannot com be completed so easily. Even at the tutorial, for example, there are some difficulties in completing the game. Okay, let's move up here and uh, save Tompi. Okay, uh, I just said save, but I don't think I was going to save him like that. Okay. No thanks, don't come up here. Okay, I'm safe. Let's try to bounce up here. Okay, here is the shield, but it doesn't... It actually doesn't help you so much, so... I don't know what the hell... Oh, shit. There are two balls now. They get more speed the more they move, so... Because there is a, there was a slide. Oh. An attached enemy to the surface. I never seen something like that, but... It was just about the collision thing. No. What the hell is that? You know, sometimes the game seems somehow blocky, like... It blocks the player from moving or whatever. For example, like this, I barely can move. I just move myself, yeah. I just try to dance, but it moves a lot. Let's attack the player, this thing, this butt. Let's move up here. Yeah, yeah, finally. Yeah, I just completed the level 3. Tizok. Okay, so this was Tommy Jones, I hope you liked this video gameplay, and don't forget to hit that like button, yeah, I got 3 bonus, 3 times bonus coins, and I'm going to immediately buy lives, yeah, 15 extra lives, buy, okay, so, uh, thank you for having a look at this video commentary, if you really like this video commentary and would like to have a look at the upcoming commentaries or maybe indie games or other games that are not so famous or maybe famous games or upcoming games, I don't know. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that's very important because other people can have a look at those videos and uh, if you share for example it would be really neat from your part guys so thank you very much for having a look at Tompy Jones I would like to thank uh, the developers team for uh, helping me out with the uh, game itself thank you very much uh, people bye